my view this uh, another part about degeneracy or extinction of a kin uh, destiny matrix code yeah examples from my family my great grandmother the mother of my grandmother who is having this degeneracy code too she had it as well she had it as well and literally she had seen the death of her two children she lived long enough to see death of her two children. Mm, that was uh, her eldest son from this man from Germany and her elder daughter. Uh, that was like from this man from Poland. She lived long enough. And what was happening with the son? Yeah, in case, he's, he was a very problematic teenage child. And this is the son actually as a brother of my grandmom the pilot one yeah what what was happening in school like he was very problematic he literally brought a gun to uh, school and he shot a teacher no one died no one died thanks god thanks god he shot a teacher not intentionally but like they were betting on uh, they were betting with uh, other guy they, they were sitting and betting you know and uh, he he shot he shot it, it was you know it was going to the desk but no teacher was scared as, as you know like and i completely understand this uh so he shot the teacher he was expelled from school Th that was crazy but unlike in case with lolo remember his satanic mom oh oh john you our sweetheart you well maintained baby of ours no no one went this way about him uh, my grandmother great grandmother great grandmother who is uh, owner of this degeneracy code yeah she said i i have uh, like no more sun like this you making such crazy decisions like uh, in your life school expelled him you bring him shame on our like family you bring in shame to our family uh, and she kicked him from home she kicked him from home and she became um, she kicked him from home he became a sailor he even he was the one who was like uh, cruising to australia on a ship from ussr to australia that was amazing when he was telling this everything that, that was truly amazing and by the way my great grandmother yeah she lived long enough she, she lived long enough like uh till i was four years and a half just imagine she she had a very long life very long life and she observed the death of her children like her elder daughter she died young and this son as well elder son and she decided i'm like lola mommy oh let me run the credit rush john let, let's rescue you from these bitches teenagers who was jumping all over your d you know and making you to pimp them yeah let me take credit for hood lawyer or rush john yeah that was mommy of lolo back then uh my great grandmother she said what the fuck you brought so much shame uh, on our family. You think you can use a gun? You, he was like doing like self-made gun or something like this. And, and he was arguing with a friend from a class. Can this gun a shot? Yes or no? And actually it can. But they tried during a lesson. And teacher got scared. You know, all this madness. He was kicked from school and he was kicked from home. He was somewhere like 16 or something, high school, yeah, and my great-grandmother making decision uh, with stepfather. Stepfather was against, like, uh, was more like not kick him from home, but she insisted, she said, look, you, you can, you, you think you adult enough to do all this shit, to bring so much shame to our family, you consider that you already adult enough, go win your own bread, you completely on your fucking own, I have no such son she literally said this to him like fuck off of our home you and do not return until you learn the lesson she said to him and he literally separated he applied for a job this like on, on ship this youngest one range you know how how you call in russian it's yunga you know, and, and he was cruising to Australia shores, like, telling, uh, you know, when he was returning, he was telling his sisters about all those animals in Australia, you know, this amazing world and, and stuff. 
Uh, so and only in few years, in few years, like uh, my great grandmother finally forgave him. She seen that he didn't become alcoholic. Uh, he didn't lost lost his ways. He didn't join negative company. That he was doing fine on his own. He was not uh, proceeding with his negative choices in the life. Yeah, he was not proceeding with negative choices, and only then she sees this and and she said, "Okay, you for, you forgive it now. I can like we we can take you back finally." Yeah, but few years she was very like, "No, I don't have such son," and only contact that was there between him and sisters. For your understanding this is my own family example and i think that that was the right decision in her case uh because if she was going about this babysitting as lolo mommy crocodile satanic mama and sweeping shit under the rock and hiring the best lawyers and doing all the shit to other people and their families you know, he, he may end up like first time it went easy on him, like, oh, son, my, 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 I will find another school for, even though they had this power to pull a string there, to get him in other school, just transferred in other school, they didn't do this for him, they didn't move a fucking finger for him. And my great grandmother insisted on this, like, no, we we not, because he will degenerate even more. If for for first time this will go unpunished, unnoticed, he will screw up later on in life again and again. So that was her her decision, completely her decision, completely. Like she insisted on this, um, and since God, he he managed to do well. And later on during World War Two, he became a pilot. You know, all of you know the story, and I shared his picture on my Instagram blog. Uh, you can see this everything in his memories, uh, but the thing is, she literally witnessed his death, uh, and she witnessed the death of her elder daughter, Veronica. Uh, that was the case in her case, how the degeneracy program unfolded. But at least she was going, like, right about decisions she was making about her children okay <laughs> that, that was the case you know that was the case amazing one uh yeah what else i wanted to tell about my family i think for now that's, that's it <laughs>